Last night before going to bed, I did something that I usually do. I checked NPR to see what news updates I could find. Um, I noticed that there are Florida legislators trying to have the inscription, In God We Trust, put in the schools. Now, as a Buddhist, I should not be trying to promote anger. But I think I have a right to refer to the proper visceral and cognitive response that should be welling up in even Buddhists. As Sam Harris says in regard to AI, he thinks that there's a disconnect. There is an improper emotional response to the danger of unmitigated, unregulated AI in the world today. As we drink the Kool-Aid and we fall over ourselves, uh, worshiping this technology. Well, the same is true of the lack of proper response to government people wanting to enshrine a religion in this country, a country which was founded with bloodshed and forward thinking before their time, godlike, if I may, revolutionaries who battled the most powerful empire on land and sea in the time of no penicillin or anesthesia to enshrine for us the freedom of conscience so that we can't be forced into theocracy. And if you don't think that you, American citizen, live in a country now where a very, very illegitimately ignorant and powerful minority, which elected an unqualified, mentally disturbed president, is winning in this battle, then you really need to drink a gallon of hot Starbucks coffee and wake up. We should be enraged that people are still insultingly and treasonously trying to enshrine a theistic religion in a secular democracy that has instructed democracies around the world. Our democracy and our constitution was the model for Ho Chi Minh's petition to the world to help him establish a government and a society free of colonialism. Our democracy is the oldest in the world, and although it sprung from British common law and the British and French Enlightenment and the Renaissance and Greek and Roman antiquity, it is still unique in the world because we have, slipping through our fingers like jello, the remains of what our founding fathers established. And the Christian right in this country in its pitiful, immoral ignorance and treason, is trying to take that away. And you as an American, even if you're a Christian, especially if you're a Christian, because I'm going to say it, your religion, though it cherry-picks some love and kindness from the most immoral tracts ever devised by humans, is the one that is being knocked down most quickly these days as Islam grows because of birth and Judaism remains relatively stable because it had a reformation of its highly immoral tracts in Deuteronomy and Leviticus. Your religion is the one causing the most harm in its neurosis, in its meddling in people's freedoms, in its torture of people of other persuasions, in its regressive attitude towards science. Your religion is the one that is going to be chopped down with a samurai sword if you're not careful. And if you want to keep it, you had better recognize that Jefferson and Adams were not modern-day type of Christians. They were deists. They believed in a higher power. But they more so believed that it should not be enforced on a people. And this, more than anything else, is going to erode our democracy more than its corrupt financial backing. You need to wake up America. And I'm not saying you need to be as angry as I am, but you need to be succinct. The Florida legislators and those in the Carolinas and those in the Dakotas or wherever else in the Bible-thumping South where they're trying to enshrine Christianity need to be slapped down with a fierce verbal anger and a fierce prejudice with a big no you don't dare do that in this country because this country was founded on fighting that to the death.